Ooh, we got some news for you. What is going on everybody? How are y'all doing? We have some epic, epic, epic Nintendo Switch news wrapped up in one video. First, give this video a big thumbs up. Let's destroy 150 likes right now. All right. What if you had a Nintendo handheld, powerful, playing triple A games and double it as a smartphone well i got you dudes and dudettes covered this is coming from <coughs> yankodesigns.com now this is a concept design of a nintendo phone but i found this article so interesting they are talking about a capable mobile nintendo device that doubles as a smartphone could be a real threat in the coming years now the i'm gonna show you some of these images the images look insane let me put these images up and so this is the actual this concept design it looks dope 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 thinned out the joy cons connect via magnetically magnetic strips on both sides and the article's author is claiming that the technology in mobile devices is there um, to where we can get the same quality games on a mobile device that would double as a phone. And if Nintendo were to pull something like this off, they would continue to dominate the market. Now, couple this with um, Nintendo of America, uh, Doug Bowser's recent comments when asked about a Switch 2. And he said, Nintendo likes to surprise and delight this would be a surprise meaning we want a more powerful we could really get two in one it could still be more powerful and double as a smartphone the only thing that i would say with this um this smartphone concept is the price the price the price according to this article it would use a uh snapdragon the uh, uh, processor this is it uh, 7.1 OLED display and an 8 Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. The problem with that is price. Um, a Nintendo phone, Nintendo would could make that today and dominate the market. But Nintendo wants their system to be available for kids and parents at an affordable price. That would cost about $1,000. <laughs> now, phones are already subsidized. Parents could have sort of a subscription model where they, um, because this is what um, parents are already doing. They're, this is why this could still happen. You buy a phone. You can add an additional line for an additional $10 a month. Nintendo would be willing to do something like that. And so I found this interesting. This is just a first news item. We got a couple more, a couple more, a couple more. But would you pick up a Nintendo phone? I would get one day one all right the next news item you see what's on the screen right here this was nintendo's last e3 in person 2012 where they had an on-stage presentation why am i showing this because e3 is d-e-d -D, dead <laughs> d-e-a-d but i meant to say d-e-d -E, -D. e3 is dead Multiple companies are pulling out of E3. Ubisoft most recently, EA has pulled out. And E3 2023 is expected to be canceled sometime this week. With all of the major companies pulling out, they are anticipating an official announcement by E3 that the showcase will be canceled. And you know what? It's never coming back. 
with the uh, all digital uh, model these companies know they could save money they don't have to pay e3 for any boots or anything it's done it's over it's a wrap r.i.p e3 you were great while it lasted i went to e3 nintendo hooked me up they got me a ticket um but it is what it is bro <laughs> all right where is my dj khaled we have another one the next news item bro we have to talk about how epic the tears of the kingdom gameplay yesterday was it was so dope now i have to say this i'm not really a big fan of the whole fusing weapons and all that yeah, i just want to play the game i just want to play the game explore the world get more of a new zelda story it's going to be so fun this open sandbox and all the creative things that we're going to be able to see on youtube but the most impressive thing for me was when link was fighting that monster let me try and get it and he fell and he came to a whole different area down below and it was all seamless there was no loading right here i think we underestimate how epic this part of the presentation was that's a whole area up there the whole world is on display as he's falling and then he just lands and continues gameplay in a whole different region no load screens no hiccup it was all seamless i tweeted this out on twitter nintendo game developers are gaming wizards that blew me away more than anything else but what was real dope what was announced at the end an all new switch oled my personal opinion is it's so close to a switch 2 possible announcement I already have two OLEDs. I had the OG, the white one, the Metroid Dread one, and I got the Splatoon 3 one. I'm not going to pick up an OLED. And just when I said, aha, I'm not going to get anything, Nintendo. You're not going to get me this time. You know what they show? They show the Pro Controller at the end. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I already pre-ordered the Pro Controller. <laughs> I got my pre-order at Best Buy. It went up. It was live yesterday. Shout out to Evo Hotis. He scooped me on the link. Um, I'm getting me that Pro Controller. That's Pro Controller. I think it was $75. But a Tears of the Kingdom Pro Controller picking that up. All right. It's on to another one. The next news item. This is pretty dope, pretty dope, pretty dope. It looks like we're going to be getting two big remakes. What do you see on the screen right here? This is... Metal Gear, let's show some gameplay, bro. Solid State, run around. Um, VGC is claiming right after this ad. Oh my goodness, they doing a, a vodka egg. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Messing up my video, YouTube. This is how y'all do me. But the news is VGC is claiming that Konami is about to show off a new Castlevania game and Metal Gear Solid 3 remake around E3 time. I'm here for it. I really wanted to see an OG Metal Gear, the first game, not the first first game on the NES. I played that, but uh, the first 3D Metal Gear game. But I'm hype, hype, hype for an all new Castlevania game. Long overdue. Uh, I was when Konami was at the, their best, bro, when they had those um, Castlevania games on the NES, Super Nintendo. So hopefully, 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 the Castlevania game at least will be coming to a switch near you and we have another one this next news item pretty 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 dope nintendo has reopened the wii u and 3ds um, e-shops for one more week and a whole week but here's the caveat only for download codes only for redeemable codes so you have to have a redeemable code. I don't know where there's where they would sell codes for the um, eShop. Um, I'm sure you could find codes online, $50, $60 codes. And you can probably still, not probably, you can still download games 
via the eShop and Wii U. I think I'm good on the, all the major games that I wanted to play on those systems already got downloaded. So we good on that, bro. All right. Those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out. Peace. This channel that I'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when I had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers, man. And um, he's probably going to lose shit when I do this, but hey, man, I got to say, my boy OB1, my boy OB1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip. And he has a really cool audience, too. Hey, and if you could show this nigga some love, too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them. A lot. A lot. I'm picky with that. But, um, anyways, my boy Obi One. Your boy Obi One. Hey, man, I got you right here, my boy. Get that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got you, Jedi homie. Master the right Jedi Master. Jedi Master. <laughs> I got you, man. You're playing two towns. Thank you. I got you, homie. I'm dedicating a workout set to you, my boy. Let's go, guys. 26, 27, 28. Ah, he said, hey, you know, they